and welcome to Joints and Articulations. In this lesson and this series of lessons, we're going to learn about the connections between bones. These are the joints or articulations. Articulations basically meaning where bones come together. Before we begin talking about the actual joints, I want to review a little bit about the histology of cartilage. If you have joined us from the tissue section, then this should serve as a review. If you haven't come from the tissue section, then this is going to be brand new to you and very important for your exams. So let's begin by talking first about the histology of cartilage. Cartilage is created by things called chondroblasts. If you're familiar with the skeletal system lesson, then you're familiar with the osteoblasts. In the skeletal system, the osteoblasts, osteo bone, lay down the organic matrix, which will be filled in by mineral deposits that will give bone its strength and rigidity. In the world of the cartilage, we have the chondroblast. Anytime you hear the word chondro, I want you to think of cartilage from now on. So we have the chondroblasts. The chondroblasts, just like the osteoblasts, lay down a matrix, an organic matrix. As the chondroblast lays down its matrix, it starts to paint itself in a corner. It starts to surround itself with the materials. It will eventually find itself in a cocoon called a lacunae. Okay, cocoon, lacoon, a. Okay, we're trying to help you remember this stuff. Just like the osteoblast, it then turns into a site. So when the chondroblast lays down its matrix and is surrounded by its own creation, it becomes a mature cell known as a chondrocyte. Again, call back to your skeletal system. When the osteoblast is surrounded by the matrix in its lacunae, it's also known as an osteocyte. So the chondrocyte is the mature cartilage cell. Cartilage is an interesting substance. For example, it has no direct blood supply. That's right, no direct blood supply. It's gonna get its nutrition through diffusion. Now, at this point in time, you should be going, hmm, he's made references to tissues, the skeletal system, and now diffusion. He's pulling a lot of stuff from older lessons, and that's true. This all starts to come together, and it's gonna keep doing that as you progress through your studies. So, we have the cartilage, which is avascular. It lacks a direct blood supply which means that it's going to get its nutrition through diffusion. If you want to see this at work, when you wake up tomorrow morning, make a tight fist. First thing you do, get out of bed and make a tight, tight fist. It's kind of hard to do, and as you get older, it gets even harder to do. Um, it's because the joints haven't been moving. The nutrition hasn't been getting to where it needs to be. There are three types of cartilage we need to be concerned about, and those are hyaline, fibrocartilage, and elastic, which we'll talk about each in their own video. But right now, before we go, let's talk about the specific functions of cartilage. Cartilage is there to do a couple of things for us. The most commonly known, and probably the one that you are aware of, is that it acts as a shock absorber as well as a frictionless surface. Now think about this. We have two bones coming together. The last thing we want those bones to do is grind against each other. And so we cover the articular surface, the area where the bones come together, with an articular cartilage, with a shiny, smooth, very low friction covering, which helps the bones move past each other much more smoothly. Cartilage also acts as a shock absorber. For example, in your vertebral column, we have intervertebral discs. These are there to prevent the bones from pounding into each other. And the last function that cartilage does is it acts as a placeholder. For example, when a baby is born, not all the bones are done ossifying, meaning growing up, becoming all bone. And so the cartilage is there as a temporary placeholder until that child ossifies all their bones. We're going to take a look next at the three types of cartilage, the hyaline cartilage, the fibrocartilage, and the elastic cartilage. <laughs> 